Hi, happy morning, everyone. Welcome to Meet Your YouTube channel. I hope you're all fine and doing well for your exams. So who are all new to the channel? So daily we are posting five important MCQs for the exam of AIMS, RRB, JIPMER, and all the nursing competitive exams. So we are posting only the basic things. So in our meteor sessions and meteor classes, we have advanced teaching methods. We are using more detailed uh, questions as well as uh, content revision. Everything is going on. Please, who are all interested, please you can contact the, the number scrolling just below the screen. You can contact them. Okay. So we'll see today's five important MCQs. Before that, we'll start with a small quote. The, yes, the expert in anything was once a beginner. So, Yarana, if expert or a particular Vishetla, Avangulo or a basic zero on the start money bank. So, don't think that Namagoname Terlan Soli. If you are a start Panagoda, you can achieve your goal. So, if you, you may be a beginner now, but if you progress, you are uh, continuously if you are trying with the hard work, one day you are also become an expert. Okay, we'll start today's session. The five important MCQ. Today, we are going to see about integumentary system integumentary system before that we should know the layers of the integumentary system that is skin so skin is mainly divided into epidermis dermis and hypodermis this epidermis having the five important basic structures stratum corneum stratum lucidum stratum granulosum and stratum spinosum stratum bacilli okay <coughs> sorry i have typical cold okay so these are the five base Five structures which present in the epidermis. What are they? Stratum corneum, stratum lucidium, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and stratum basale. This is the five layers of the epidermis. Dermis doesn't have any layers, okay? And hypodermis, otherwise called our subcutaneous tissue. So these are the layers of the skin. Okay, we'll start today's question. Which layers accounts for three by fourth of the epidermal thickness? Corneum, bacillae, spinosum, and lucidium. So we have seen the layers row, the epidermis, right? We have seen the five layers, right? In the epidermis. So which layer of epidermal is according for three by fourth of the epidermal? So the correct option is corneum. I'll show the picture. So you can see it here. This is the corneum. In this epidermis, 3 by 4th is occupied by the stratum corneum. So the correct option is corneum. Right? So epidermis is responsible for providing the protection of the underlying layers. It is composed of dead skin cells that are constantly being shed and replaced. Okay, this layer is thick and accounts for approximately 3 by 4th of the total epidermal thickness. So that one more question also we can add it here. So the corneum contains the dead skins. So it's constantly being shed and replaced. Okay, well, so that is the correct option. So next question. How many major regions are in the skin? Five, three, seven, none of the above. Easily you can answer. Yes, it is three. Don't think that, that uh, layers of epidermis also. The major thing means the epidermis Dermis and hypodermis, that's all. So these are the main three layers which is significant for the anatomy of the skin. Don't think that remaining five parts in the, parts in the epidermis that will not come under the major part of the skin. Okay, that is the part of the epidermis. Clear? Yes. Next question. Which cells of the epidermis produce fibrous protein keratin? Melanocytes, Langerhan cells, Markel cells, none of the above. So think and answer. Fibrous protein keratin. Epidermis, which cells of the epidermis produce the fibrous protein keratin? The answer is none of the above. Why? Because this fibrous protein keratin is secreted by keratinocytes, which is present in the epidermis. So the options there, there is no keratinocytes, right? What is melanocytes, which produces the pigment called melanin? What is Langerhans? which involves in the immune response in the skin. Markel cells is a function as a touch receptors in the skin. So these three layers are not involving in the production of the keratin. Keratinocyte is on production of the keratin. Clear? 
Yes. Next question. Dilation dash and constriction dash occur regulate the body temperature. So the options warming and cooling, cooling and warming, conduction and radiation, none of the above. So what, how the body temperature will uh, regulate it? So it will be regulated by, by cooling, that is dilation and constriction, that is warming. Clear? So that is how the, the body is maintaining the regulation of the temperature. So dilation means what? Expansion of the blood vessels. So when the blood vessels are expanded, it allows the more blood to flow in the skin surface, which helps the body to get cool. So whenever there is a more temperature, dilation can happen. Very heat, where exposure is of very heat, that time body try to maintain the skin surface as a dilated part. So the cooling will be cooling will be there. So temperature will be regulated. So it's the opposite way it is happening. When there is a more cold, body try to constrict and that will provide warming to the skin. This is how the body temperature is regulated. So dilation means cooling, constriction means warming. Clear? How the skin is responding to the temperature. Clear? Yes. Next question. What type of bone only affects the epidermis and the upper region of the dermis? Second degree, first degree, third degree, none of the above. So which type of uh, which type of bone affects only the epidermis and the upper region of the dermis? The correct option is this is second degree. So second degree, two degree also they can say. So second degree bone is otherwise called a partial thickness bone. It only affects the epidermis and the upper layer of the dermis, just below the dermis. We have seen the layers, right? So this type of bone typically causes redness, blistering and pain. It does not penetrate the deeper into the skin like third degree. So third degree, we will have the, it will affect epidermis, dermis, subcutaneous, as well as sometimes it will go to the bones also, muscles, bones also, right? So here the correct option is second degree. Okay, that's all about today's session. I hope today's session was helpful. So please, uh, once you go, uh, once you go through again, you can revise it. So please subscribe our channel. Please support us. Thank you so much. All the best for your exams. Thank you.